welcome to my class today um i want to show you how to make a twist headband a one size fit it's very trendy and it keeps also keep your hair in place so to be able to make a twist headband like the one you saw in the opening picture you would need like a quarter yard of ankara fabric or meter a quarter meter of any english fabric it doesn't have to stretch because that's why we've got the elastic so what you're going to be needing is to cut your quarter fabric into three different pieces like i have on the table so what i've done is to cut two long strips each of them is 18 inches long when i open each is eight inches wide so i'll take that again eight inches wide 18 inches long so you're going to fold that into two like so and you're going to stitch the open end of both pieces so the two 18 inches long and eight inches wide fabric unfold you're going to stitch that and you leave the edges then i also have this strip of fabric which is 12 inches long and the width is 1.5 unfold so if i open this up is going to be three inches wide so why i cut it to this size is because of the elastic i'm going to be using so i am using one inch wide elastic in elastic band and this is seven inches long so get your if you don't get the measurements if you do not pay attention you can read the description box below and the measurements are going to put in there so you can use go back to them when you need to get into this actual project so if it's the first time on my channel welcome to start with ufoma or Moloru. and today as usual there's always something new something easy something exciting so to be able to always see my post as they drop you need to subscribe and don't forget turn on your notification bell so the notification bell is the bell like symbol under the video so what that does for you is that it notifies you each time i post a video and do not forget to write me if you have any questions feel free to send them to me i'll be happy to read them reply you and help if i can so let's get into today's class so i'm going to go into sewing we're going to sew these pieces i'm going to also close this up okay then we'll come back to assemble them and i'll show you how you can make this beautiful head piece in no time yeah, so i've done the stitching and you can see the half an inch there so what i'll need to do now is to get my safety pin or whatever works for you and i'm just going to use this to turn this inside out so i'm going to put this in clip it nicely secure it nicely and i'm going to push it inside the band that i have made so i'm pushing that in and i'm going to pull from the other side the other open end of the sewn band okay so there you have it so all i'll need to do now is to pull that out you can use your scissors as well it works equally okay so that has been done so you're going to keep it nice and flat and you're going to iron that out leaving the sides that is stitched on the other side okay so i've done both i'm going to do the smaller piece as well so i'm just going to put my safety pin in there and i'm going to repeat the process you know why i like this particular project is that it's fun it's easy and you really don't need to be a pro to be able to do this you can equally use a sewing and a needle with your thread to do this project and if you're looking for a side also something you can do by the side this is something you can equally try your hands on and sell to your friends and even to those you don't know online yeah so yep so that's done 
So what I'm going to do now is get my iron. And I'm going to iron this out. Because you want it to be nice and flat. So for this particular smaller one, you want to leave the stitch in the middle like that so i'm going to iron from the inside keeping the stitch in between the sides okay so that's done i'm going to put that aside and i need to also give this a good press If you are doing this with a fabric that stretches then all you need to do is to reduce the fabric the strap behind you make it half of that size that way you don't need to add elastic if it's a stretch fabric yeah so now what we want to do next is we're going to put this over this like you can see not it depends on like what you want the pattern to be like so i want it to be this way so i'm going to put this the other way oh, okay this has the fabric the same design both ways so if we did not have it we would have put that side opposite sides okay together so now i'm going to pull this like that and i'm going to pull you can get a pin and all that down And I'm also going to get the other side like that. And I'm going to hold that down using a pin. So what we've got here, as you can see, is the two band inside. And it's been twisted together like that so you have your knot right there in the middle okay so you don't want to worry much about this so what i'm going to do is keep this aside and i'm going to pick my elastic band and i'm going to put in the elastic in through the band so you push it through And as you do that, you want to be careful not to over pull because you want to be able to stitch the elastic at the end. So now I'm going to just get my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch that so that it doesn't come off. So you just stitch to all that in place. I'm going to pull this out to the other end with that other side firmly secured then I can take off the pin so if you want it smaller what you can do is you can reduce your elastic in the middle but if you want it free I don't like mine really too snug because it tends to give me a headache so I like it rather free but if you want it smaller then reduce the size of your elastic and it will be just fine okay yep yeah. so that's the elastic for the back so now what we're going to do is to try to put that in the middle so this is going to be the front so what you do is the part that does not have a stitch has to face the right side of your band so right side to right side i'm going to take off the pin pull 
the, the ruffles away from the end and I'm going to flip this over this and I'm going to flip the other over this okay so once I've done that I'm going to you can get your pin to secure put that in place like so and I'm going to do the same thing to the other end so be careful you don't pull that off so that you can easily know where it should go so I'm just going to put this on the other end like that and while doing that all I need to do is also flip one way and the other way so when you're going to be stitching you want to be careful so that your needle doesn't break because it's quite thick so you want to use the right needle to be able to do that so I'm just going to stitch that and show you the finished product so you need to do that carefully gently yeah so that's the airband i finished stitching i took off the needle the pins so all you need to do now is just you pull out like that like so and you see the ends there i don't know if you can see that clearly okay and the same thing the other way yeah and voila everything is tucked in nicely there's no stitch being apparent so that's your airband it's that easy so you've got your twist knot airband so you can make this in different colors in plain fabric and with stretchy fabric as well so that's the end of the tutorial if you enjoyed the video do not forget to give a thumbs up and to like come your way next time Bye from me.